Some eggs are white. Some eggs are brown. Eggs have a funny shape. They wobble because they're not round. Bedtime Bible story just for you. It's all about a brave boy who stood up to a big bully. And he wasn't much older than you. So come on, everybody, under the covers, and listen to the story of David and Goliath. Back in the Bible, there was a young shepherd boy by the name of David. David was a good boy who loved and obeyed the Lord. Every day, David would climb up to the top of the hills where he could keep careful watch over his sheep. Sometimes he would make up songs and sing them through the day as he went along his way. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. 
David was also a fine musician and a harpist. A harp is an instrument with long strings, like a bear's whiskers. <laughs> David played his harp at the palace before King Saul. Everybody loved and admired David. I'm telling you, this kid has talent. But meanwhile, miles away, the sounds of war were echoing in the hills. An army of soldiers called the Philistines were planning an attack against the children of Israel. King Saul of Israel formed an army to protect his country. Three of David's brothers were soldiers in the army. At his father's request, David went to the battlefield to visit them and make sure they were safe. When he got there, David couldn't believe what he saw. A real, live, great, big, genuine, gigantic giant! This Philistine giant stood over nine feet tall. That's taller than my friend the grizzly bear. His name was Goliath, and he sure looked m, -m mean When David arrived, Goliath was taunting and teasing the army of Israel with all sorts of threats. Yo! I am the strongest warrior ever. You're not afraid of little old me. Ha! I dare any of you to fight with me alone. And I'll even make a bet. If you win, the whole Philistine army gives up. But if I win, <laughs> all the Israelis will become our slaves. Yo! This guy definitely had a mean streak in him. Some of the king's soldiers were so scared of Goliath, they ran away. But to everyone's amazement, David accepted the bully's challenge. I have no fear of this man. Because the Lord is with me, I cannot fail. Even King Saul was impressed with David's courage and faith. He gave David a coat of armor and a big sword to carry. But all David needed was his trusty slingshot. So, he gathered some stones from a nearby brook and placed them inside his pouch. When Goliath saw David coming, he laughed and laughed. <laughs> You've got to be joking. You're but a mere boy. Why don't you go home and play with your sheep? <laughs> but David didn't move. Goliath, with a sword in one hand and a spear in the other, started towards David. His eyes grew fiery red as he waved his sword in the air. But David was armed only with a slingshot and his faith in the Lord. Quickly, he took a stone from his pouch and placed it into his slingshot. He lifted it above his head and began whirling it around and around, shouting, This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. And with that, he let the sling go. And the stone flew out of his sling, hitting Goliath right in the forehead. You know, I don't feel so good. Goliath fell to the ground, and the whole earth shook. It was quite a sight to see. The Philistine army all ran away while King Saul and all of his soldiers cheered for
for David. David has beaten the bully and won the battle for his people! It just goes to show that nothing is impossible as long as you have faith in the Lord. And that, my friends, is the story of David and Goliath. The end. Feathers, shake 
your tail. Waddle here. Waddle there. Float on water. Fly into the blue. Now there's only one thing left that every duck must do. What's that? Let's get quacking. Quack, quack. Let's get quacking. Quack, quack. Let's get quacking. a beautiful bedtime Bible song for David and for you. The Lord is our shepherd, we are his sheep. He watches 
watch is over us when we're asleep. The Lord is our shepherd. He shows us the way. He hears all our prayers at the end of the day. The Lord is our shepherd. We're in his care. Always beside Yeah.